In this video we're going to go through some microwave equipment, some other vintage electronics. Got several videos out there. All uh, This equipment comes from the uh, process that we teach in Making Money From Junk, from makingmoneyfromjunk.com, the ebook there. Um, you get all this stuff. This is some uh, microwave equipment from uh, Harris Farinon Microwave actually. And as you can tell on this board, there's lots of nice little uh, pretty shiny stuff. Lots of good gold. Uh, gold plated anyway. Some good fingers on the back of those. And uh, just wanted to show you a couple of the things in here that you might not know that have gold and silver in them. And some places to especially look for and uh, especially in vintage type electronics. Things you may not see just at a real quick glance. In this case you can see this um, little transistor and its mounting piece it does have some nice gold underneath it. So as you're trying to get in there though, you just pull that out and look there. Oh, wow, nice gold right there too. So that goes over here in your in your gold parts bin. And um, then these little clips, of course you can see that. And I don't know if I can pull them in. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a nice little piece. That goes right in there too. So, uh, and then you want to get these out. Now, people ask me all the time, how do you get those off of there? and be able to reclaim them because in here there's lots of little tiny buttons. As you can see there's a lot of gold in this telecom type of uh, equipment. Well, uh, here's one that I've already taken apart and you can see that it's the same board. And you can tell there's been an awful lot of stuff come off of there. And how do you do that? Well, I usually just go in here, the simplest way I've found is go in with a big marker and just look and find the pieces you want and then just draw a little circle around them and just say okay those are the pieces I want to go after because otherwise it's just too hard and then I take a, a big soldering gun got the, the big welder soldering gun right there and just heat it up and then take like a um, a real sharp plier and as you're heating it up so you just take that and just push it through you know just just heat the thing and then just push and that then you'll have all the parts at the bottom real simple way to get it out of there and since you've marked all of them already, you know how to just go zip, 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 zip. You're not having to spend all day doing that. So I found that to be a pretty quick little tip, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to use that too. Here's a different uh, model. It's got a lot of different electronics on it. Again, these uh, same gold-plated pieces. Really nice there. Um, you can tell this board's had some damage to it. So you're not going to have any resale value because this piece has been damaged and fixing it is probably not worth it. It's an older piece anyway. Uh, got one of those torn apart and guess what? It had the same kind of a problem on that same part. So it looks like it maybe it was a design challenge um, over the years that gave up and, and whatever. This one's been taken mostly apart. I think there's still some pieces on here. Uh, I know there's a little bit of work still to do with it. But for the most part I pull those off. You take the IC chips and uh, various things. And I wanted to show you some of the parts quickly that uh, that you might find in here and by just comparing them side by side um, I wanted to be able to to show that a little bit so uh, you can see missing here is a transistor so this transistor actually has gold plated legs I'm trying to see if we can see down under there Get enough light maybe and uh, you can see that it's a uh, some of these transistors are gold plated underneath the legs are, or the uh, the bottom is, like one I showed you in the video a little bit ago. So you want to always check for that. Little transistors, a lot of these little uh, transistors here will have that, the gold-plated legs in them. And uh, if you notice the difference between the boards, you'll see that some are missing and some are still there. Well, that means the ones that are still there didn't have gold-plated legs, but the others do. Um, or, you know, or maybe I just haven't finished all of them. Well, I just see a very interesting thing here. Um, this one does not have gold plated legs but on this board it is gold plated. So I'll take be taking them off of here and, but it's the same transistor in the same place except that one is gold plated and one's not. You gotta always look for that and so that's why you can't say on any given piece that this is exactly the way to take this apart. You just have to look check for things like that. Real quick I want to tell you one other piece that's, that you really want to watch out for that we found on this board that I've not, not found on too many other boards and that's these little um, these capacitors here with the red end or uh, sometimes they have a green end 
those are real high silver content. They're like 40%. The red ones are like 40% silver per weight. So um, that's, a, that's a pretty nice little silver reclamation right there. Uh, the green ones are supposed to be something like 20%. That's what I've heard. I did a little research, and uh, that's what uh, one of my, my mentors taught me, that uh, that's about what you're going to get in there. So that's um, pretty interesting stuff. And, of course, I've always used mentors to teach me more about this stuff, finding uh, a place that you can you know, talk to people and this and that is always good. Some of these have silver in them. In a different video uh, recently I discussed more about that and what you might get out of them. Some of them are silver, some of them aren't. So um, you just have to kind of tear into them is the only way I know about it. So far I haven't found a good way to identify them. Of course always get those fingers off of there and um, put them in your, in your bucket. Oh, one more thing in this one. <laughs> Very interesting difference. You can see this one has a green switch and this one has a red switch. Now both of them have gold plated backs on them. So I'll want to pop those off of there and get into this one. But what we found is the red switches are definitely, definitely much better with gold content. They typically have some little red uh, gold plated balls in there and some different uh, connectors and stuff. So you want to tear the red ones apart and really get into them and be careful when you tear them apart because that stuff goes flying. So put it down inside of a bowl or something as you're taking it apart so that it won't go jumping so bad. The green ones, a lot of times all they have is the ends. But um, definitely the red switches, that's a good thing. All right, well, that's, um, that's all for the videos this time on uh, from makingmoneyfromjunk.com. Be sure to grab the ebook and uh, learn where you get these parts and what you do and how you can make more money from junk. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.